Hey everyone, the artificial trainer here. Check out these upscaling examples. This is definitely the best free upscaler that I've used. It rivals something like star upscaling, which requires up to 80 gigabytes of VRAM. So we are going to jump in. We're going to check out the Comfy UI workflow. We're going to run a couple examples. I'll give you some advice on how to do the upscaling and then that'll wrap us up. If you like this type of content, please like and subscribe below. It really helps the channel, helps me create more content, better content for all of you. So very first thing you'll need to do is install Comfy UI. If you don't have it installed, you can check out the description. I have a great beginner guide on how to install Comfy UI that should be able to get anyone up and running in Comfy UI. After you do that, head back here and you can check out the workflow in the description or head to my Patreon post in the description and grab the workflow from there. Okay, so you can grab this workflow. And then in Comfy UI, you'll need to install this custom node. So you need to install that one. And then I also use Video Helper Suite, KJ Nodes, Layer Style, and Chris Tools as well. And Chris Tools, if you ever wondered how to get these monitoring tools at the top, Chris Tools also gives you those monitoring tools. So all Seed VR2 is, is these two nodes. A, the nodes will auto install the models for you when you run it. So you don't have to worry about downloading any models. And then the rest of this stuff is just handling resolutions. So from now on in my workflows, you won't have to change the landscape and portrait resolution images. I'm going to handle all of that for you based on whether the original video is landscape or portrait. So I think that's a really valuable added thing that I've, I've started using and it just eliminates one more input that you have to change every time. All right, so let's talk the upscaling node. So there's six different models provided. If you're on low VRAM, I would use the FP8 models. If you have higher VRAM, I'm on the 5090. You can try out the FP16. So we'll talk about the batch size next because it kind of relates to the amount of VRAM you have. So the batch size is basically how many images the model is going to upscale at once. Now, the best coherence comes from being able to fit the entire video in the same batch size. If you have a 45 frame video, ideally you have a batch size of 45. If not, you'll get some warping across, like from the 45th to the 46th frame, you'll get some warping, which is not ideal. The other thing you can do is change the resolution. So I'm going to generate at 720p, but you can also try 480p and then just do a standard upscale image after. Seed VR2 adds a ton of detail. So just using this bilinear upscaler at the end actually really does a great job. And the last thing is block swap. If you've used WAN 2.1 a lot, you'll be familiar with block swap. I, I just leave it all the way up because this is a very VRAM intensive workflow. Okay, and then the last thing is if you're one upscale 480p and 720p videos, Seed VR2 seems to do a much better job at upscaling really re low resolution videos than it does really high resolution videos. So I actually recommend downscaling the video to start with when you have really high resolution videos and then upscaling it back up. And the results, is, it sounds kind of crazy, but the results seem better doing it like that than if you just had like a 480p video and you upscale it to 720p. Okay, so that is the whole workflow. Let's run a couple of them and I'll show you the results. So this is a video of a tiger. You can see really, really fuzzy, grainy. And we are going to, so it's basically doing a two step upscale. We're upscaling it to 720 and then we're upscaling it to 1080. So let's run it. All right, and here's our result. You can see really, really good. Now you can, you can see right at the end there where it, past the 45 frame batch size. You can see right in the middle there, you kind of get a little bit of a warp. So let's try the FP8 model and see if we can fit the whole thing in our, in our generation here. 
And just for some information here, 61 frames is using 24.59 gigabytes of VRAM. So probably anything under 61 frames, you'll be able to use a 4090 for. All right, so now you can see we get awesome results. No warping throughout the frame at all. And this is what we started with. So really, really impressive. Okay, now I just want to, so here I have a 480p video. And I just want to show you upscaling from 480p to 1080p what the results are. So again, I mentioned it's kind of weird because we're going to downscale it, but then upscale it and the results do come out better than the original. So let's give it a go. All right. So here's our original. You can see, especially around like the eyes and the hair, we don't have great detail. But then now with the new upscale, you get like a lot, but a lot more color texture in the face. And especially around the eyes, you get better, you know, like eyelashes and you don't get that artifactiness around the eyes. Still not, you know, credible, right? We have like some color issues, probably. It's a little bit like rainbow ish, <laughs> if you will. But it's definitely adding detail. You can see how blurry it is there at the end versus here at the end around the eyes. All right. So that is it for this video. I hope you find this workflow useful. I know that I am going to use this a lot, especially for those videos at the beginning of the video that I always have the example videos. I'll probably use this to upscale them to make them look even better and more presentable. Join the Discord if you're having any problems. It's a great place to get some help. I'm not the only one helping out there. There's other people in the Discord who are really knowledgeable. It's a great resource if you want to learn more about this. I appreciate you watching this video, and I'll talk to you again in the next one.